Hello, hello everybody, it's Super Proctor and we're back again with another Reddit r slash subreddit random stuff. This is r, I am a piece of sh You know what I mean. Subreddit, so let's go, let's see some uh, human shit. How did my whole speech about Kay. how I need subs to get the stream going if you like the content, blah, 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 how that results in zero subs? There are regulars here. Five dollars a month. Jesus. How do you have hours of time to- She was starting out strong, I see. It's like the other girl we saw that was like begging for- Well, she wasn't begging. She was like straight up shaming people if they don't suck. Watch me. And not five dollars. Because it's a free website. Know, what are you doing? It's a free website, you stupid. With your life, where you have hours of time to watch Twitch. And not five dollars to provide for the content that you're watching. I don't know, like most of the children, like I doubt most of the people on Twitch are like grown-ups. I, I I assume most of the majority are kids. They don't got a job, they're kids. Christians leave fake $20 tips promoting Jesus. No, this is not what we do. No, it's one thing to spread the word of God or try to get people to, you know, parishion your, your church. It's another thing to completely deny somebody rent. That could have really helped somebody out, you know, make sure that they could feed themselves or, you know, stay in their apartment oh my god i can just imagine being that waiter just being so like what you Ooh, can $20? have something oh, more wait, valuable oh, than money uh, why did i get my hope fake money police are Fuck appealing you. for information <laughs> and are urging the public to take extra care after homemade spikes were found scattered across a running trail what oh who bro who what's wrong with people it's uh... Who does these things? The spikes Why were uncovered after the runner noticed a pile of leaves in the middle of the track with devices hidden underneath. So somebody was doing this on purpose. Somebody <laughs> some some do some do watch the load too much Tom and Jerry, bro. You can't be throwing leaves everywhere. Sick or someone who thinks this is funny <laughs> was going Stupid to just fuck. horrifyingly maim someone. You step on that, you can't walk. You damage you damage the bottom of your foot. You can't walk. This is oh, this horrible. This I mean, is my boy's cross that was stolen from his grave. I want and need everybody to help me share this post and help me find it. Three days before Christmas, I just want it back. Nobody has the balls to come forward, and I know somebody knows where it is. So stop hiding behind your... Bro. You stole a kid's... Why would you even do this? You can't sell that phone screen and give me the information last straw i What's had wrong enough with you why hey listen i do not support bullying or beating up people but some people need to get the fucking dog shit out of it kicked out of them listen some people need to you know like public lynching without the death you know just break them why Come would on. you steal somebody's cross? Can we have that back? Why would you steal Stoning? a baby's cross? <laughs> Man, YouTube's not gonna like so that shit. <laughs> that it's kind of gone into that strange territory where it's almost nah, like somebody is... stole this out of spite. It like probably they knew did. that someone was going to be upset. Like there's no way you could sell that because th that plaque that's on the cross is riveted in. You can't unscrew it or damage it without people knowing that this is clearly a stolen, you know, stolen property. I'm going to say that this dude has dealt with this before because that's what I'm getting from his from his post is that this has happened before and then somebody is doing this just to mess with him which is so sick oh i know mm. what it feels like to be a woman of quick color. tip to those who think this is a good idea <laughs> bitch you she even did the duck thing if you're gonna be stupid and ignorant the uh. best place not to you know showcase that is on Twitter. Uh, I swear, I think some people just don't have, don't have any self awareness. It's one thing to do this and think that it's funny. Damn. It's another thing to do this and have no clue that it's offensive. But Christ Almighty, do you understand that that's some stuff you just don't post? I mean, on the I internet? don't know if some things you just. Gotta I don't know if this like what does this classify as offensive or straight up cringe? To yourself because you know ah, that the repercussions I'd go are with just. Cringe Always on this one. Terrible. I like, am genuinely shocked that that people still cringe. do this stuff with zero, zero forethought. You, oh, uh, bro. Some people can't think. No, though. what you mean? No, 
Anonymous question. I would like to know what type of life insurance policy I should get if I'm pretty sure that at some point my husband will commit suicide post-divorce. He's made attempts in the past and if I'm granted every- Wait, post-divorce? You can't get his things post-divorce, you're not- Thing I've requested in our divorce, there's a good chance he will. Uh, he's retiring in April 2020. We have two minor children, which one is disabled and will need to be cared for throughout adulthood. I need assurance as to what type of policy and how it should be worded in our divorce decree. Bruh. Total 17 years married. It's been a long time. Damn, bro, you... I mean, listen, anyone's gonna be suicidal after being married to the fucking Grinch for 17 years? Times Jeez. since I've read a post that's progressively gotten worse wow. per paragraph. How can you Damn, fathom bro, you asking fucked it a twice? question like that? At least? You know that your husband is going to possibly commit suicide because you are asking for- By the way, I like how the page that this was either she's named after, it's something divorce and the military exuberant amount of things from him via a divorce you think that's going to happen so instead of trying to help this man out or maybe asking for less things in the divorce you'd rather try to cash out on his death with a life insurance policy i thought the last post was pretty bad but this one really goes to show that you have no self-awareness sweet jesus this has to be the I most i don't think it's about self-awareness brother i don't think she gives a fuck Ah, I don't think this creature has any human emotions anymore besides spite and hatefulness. I don't think it cares. Horrent post I've read in a long time. I really, really genuinely hope that you grow old alone. I hope that every other next marriage or next relationship you have fails. I want you to be 85 alone and bitter. Oh, Bro, so we just punch kangaroos now. That's just what we do. Australian what? police are investigating after man was filmed punching an injured kangaroo and his friend looked on and laughed. Uh, injured the one? originally shared on Snapchat shows the young man beating the animal and boxing it in the face as it lies helpless on the ground. Oh, oh, all is forgiven. At least if- Hey, listen, kangaroos are- Kangaroos are dickheads. But you're a bitch. If you're gonna punch a kangaroo, punch an upright kangaroo so it can punch you back. It was a fair fight. The it's person like, filming uh, the shocking attack can be heard egging on his friend. The clip has sparked widespread outrage and distress on social media, with a number of users naming the alleged culprits as two teenage, teenage boys, boys from New South Wales. New yeah, I, I've South never seen anything Wales. more hilarious than someone assaulting a helpless animal on the ground whilst everybody else around him is laughing. Yeah, that's that's called quality entertainment. Virginia woman will serve no jail time for that's killing and dumping six puppies. What? Nah, nah, bitch. Fuck that. F what is she working for, PETA? Come of on, bro. Of all people to get away with Puppy. something. I don't really care about what specifically that's, she did. First off, that's not a detail woman. about what she did uh, to she, each of these puppies, and I'm sure you guys don't want to hear that. Neck on I'm just curious creature. how the hell she missed these charges. And what drove you to do this? Also, a side note, she looks like a grown-ass dude. I don't know if that's a woman. I, you guys keep on saying yeah, woman, know, but bro. that's that's a man. That's a dude. This next one is just gross. Romanian tenant deliberately left flat infested by maggots after being evicted over more than 6,000 pounds unpaid rent that the landlord cannot reclaim because he had no assets in the UK. <laughs> oh, Damn, bro. that's just gross. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> Compared to the other ones we've seen so far, it's not a big problem. Empty the fridge out, throw it away, just throw some poison in there. It's, it's cleanable. No, ugh, no, it's I not bet a some big of them deal. are moving. Never again. Hi, Tina. Uh, thank you. We would not host any guests who plan to bring illegal drugs and playing loud music to disturbing the other residents. The police were involved and the residents were very upset. In addition, the furniture and blinds were broken by you. That's been a thing lately. People buying Airbnbs and then <sighs> trashing them, like using them for parties and stuff. Like that's just, that's somebody's house. Damn, Tina. Having all your kids by the same man seems silly. His resource is only gonna go so far and be spread so thin. Give your kid their own debt. No way did someone make this statement without any semblance of irony. Cause that Bruh. just sounds so stupid. So, my neighbors are assholes. They moved and abandoned their kitty. Poor thing crawled through uh, my walls and has been crying because they t Damn, bro, why y'all gotta be like this?
Wait, your heart's at? Took her baby and left Jesus. her. Jesus. Can anyone I know take her or look after her until she has a, a new home or something? Well. I already have three cats and she's scared of them. She's also super cuddly and full of love. Please help. Some people really think pets uh. are expendable. Like when a dog is no longer cute, they drop them off at a pound. Or when cats grow up and they're no longer kittens, they, you know, put them on the street. Some people nah. are just really vapid and terrible. And I guess that's something that I have to accept, right? Okay, so I'm in the liquor store aisle working. And this white older man tells me you're working in the liquor aisle, but you don't even look old enough to drink it. Sir, it's called good aging genetics. <laughs> something you and your... Bro, the dude was probably having a laugh. He's joking. Can't you can take fifteen decks, but you can't take a joke. What is this? God damn More it! People can't speak on. And even though I'm old enough to buy liquor, I'm not in need of it like you desperately are. Yeah, wow, I've never experienced anything more classy. Elitism and racism in the same Snapchat post. Who would have thought? My husband loves both of his daughters a lot, but he isn't their father because I used to have casual sex with other guys. Should I tell him? Okay, let's get into this. Oh my god. My husband loves both of his daughters a lot, but he isn't their father. Should I tell them? I've been married to him for 15 years I hope now, this is fake. And I'm living happily with my- 15 years, you fucking whore. You fucking whore. God damn it. Oh, this is damn, bro. A husband and two daughters, 14 and 13 years old. He's not their real father, and he's not aware of that. <sighs> From my college days, I was dating him, and I used to have, you know, a casual fling with other guys around. Please don't ask me about counts. Right, oh, yeah. we don't need to. It's probably like a hundred semens up in the. Yeah, my because God. that's what matters in this situation. What is wrong God with you? Damn. After marriage, I became a housewife and less social. But uh, that didn't change. You mean less of a whore? I still got to meet guys. Less of a whore. Was out, which included his cousin. God damn, what? bitch. What? Friends, laundry man, neighbors, etc. What in the whole oh my God? Oh my God. The audacity of this dude. The audacity. The aw- and I can't stress this enough. Das so in short, I did it with multiple guys. Yeah, but I have yeah. no regrets. We, we got it. Really. We got it. I I would think Jesus. I really thought this woman was regretting that. That's I thought that's what was the issue. Jesus. I still Wait, do, but regret if she were, you mean regret the first time, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth. Which time Less would she regret? Oh, at least she's... Uh, at least, uh, <laughs> she's still fucking everybody. This is actually hard oh, to bruh. read. When my daughters were five and six, I got their DNA tested. And as expected, came to know that he isn't their father. He's a good man, though. But I feel if I tell him, he will leave me. And that will affect my daughter's life financially. You're just a... You're a fucking... Bro, I can imagine. This dude is probably working his ass off. For him not to have noticed this shit, right? He's probably working like two jobs minimum, or one job that's like insane hours. Asshole. Jesus Christ. I don't even Christ. know what to say anymore. This is just deplorable. And people I ask why men can't marry that much I have anymore. Nothing what you to mean? Sum this up. I have no moralizing. It's scary as fuck, nothing, bro. Not even a joke. This God is damn. Just, <laughs> this is just bad. Texas mom had to pay six hundred dollars to see video of five-year-old daughter being bullied on the bus. A Dallas mother was told by her child's school district that it would cost her $600 to see a video that showed what happened to her five-year-old daughter on a small school bus in November. Yeah. I'm not even curious about why it's $600, I'm just curious why she had to buy it in the first place. Police! Man sold drugs that were mixed- Hey listen, all I can say is that when I have kids, I, as soon as they're able to walk, I'm putting these little motherfuckers into uh jujitsu mma some boxing i don't know they're gonna train all the martial arts uh, at least then i don't gotta worry about shit okay with his mother's ashes wait what police. police man sold drugs that were mixed with his mother's ashes man, very personal drugs huh all right i just i gotta leave okay no, we just started come on man we listen just, listen gotta... there's a lot to see in this life I'm not wasting it here yeah, that, that's She's a mom. time bomb. Chinese woman hides coronavirus to enter France and then brags about it online. You see, I'm so surprised that the human race has gotten this what? far because of people like her. People who don't care to such a degree that what? they're literally, 
literally a danger to everybody else. I swear, it's truly a miracle that we have gotten this far as a species. And honestly, guys, if oh, I God. had to volunteer for a homeless soup kitchen, I would honestly just like piss oh, like in the soup. soup like I hate <laughs> homeless people and I really don't care. And I'm glad that homeless people are in poverty, honestly. <laughs> Reminder, uh, it's not uh, yeah, there is bad angle suck another day. Not just fuzzy, fluffy, cute swimming ocean wildlife that Damn. deserves your respect and distance. Corals aren't plants, they're animals. Imagine carving your names on cats and dogs. <laughs> My friend paid a woman to watch his dogs, and she stole one and dumped the other at a pound in bar stop. Please keep a lookout for Chimera. Stealing dogs? Is that what we Listen. If you do that to my dogs, I gotta beat your ass. I don't care if you're a woman, a kid. I don't care if you're disabled. You're gonna be even more disabled after that shit. I just, that's, I, I should be a rule book. I like, uh, what was it? Jo Johan 115 in the Bible. If somebody fucks with your dogs, beat his ass. We're doing stealing dogs, stealing trained dogs even. So what are you gonna do with a dog that knows a specific name or no has a specific routine? Why, stop steal! Don't steal people's pets. Let's start there. Yes. Don't steal people's don't pets. Don't do that. Things that need to be. Bruh. Yeah, run, bitch, run. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys have already heard because J Station oh, yeah, is infamous clown. for making videos Jesus. that just, um, are just terrible. She's I think not dead. They're just horrible. She's not dead. Recently, he went out of his way to make a video about him, yep. uh, you know, saying goodbye to his girlfriend because she allegedly dead. she passed away via a drunk driving accident when in reality shocking nobody he actually faked it so that his well, I'm girlfriend's sure, channel could reach i'm pretty sure some people were shocked a million subscribers <laughs> a channel he and his girlfriend both co-own it's actually very illegal in How canada do you for you to channel? do that because i watched uh some ordinary gamers he made a video on you know you know talking about this and he talks about how in ottawa and especially in canada Faking the death of a co-owner of a business in order to boost that business in any sort of capacity is illegal. But that aside, this man went out of his way to <laughs> fake the death of a loved one just so he could get views, ad clicks, and hey, higher hey, gotta get their views, a separate brother. channel he co-owns with his very much alive girlfriend. That is a level of depravity that I think even <laughs> Jay Station, even him, Yes, him. I thought that maybe he wouldn't even go that low. I, did, I actually believed it because I was like, no way would he fake a girlfriend's death. No way he would do this. No way he would go that low. But <laughs> I guess I guess I really underestimated the man. I, I don't I know anything about the man, so I can't really estimate him. This guy is the scum of the earth. The next video has really uh, low I'm, audio, so I'm going to have to give you... Well, can't really say he's the scum of the earth. Like, listen, he's a piece of shit, but uh, he's not killing puppies out there. Listen. Uh, there, are, there are levels to these piece of shits. You guys, a little bit of right? context, so What's you can pay attention. Here? And here, I'm, I'll try to boost the audio in post. But oh no, that's nice. What's car, going is on it? is that some guy, you know, he brings a Lamborghini to a, a valet. The valet, instead of parking it and you know, you know doing his job, he goes on a joyride and he gets shouted at, and it's just, it's so funny to watch. <laughs> He probably does. Probably does. It's not that bad though. It's not that bad. He should be fired, but it's not that bad. Listen, I gotta be honest. If I was a valet, I'd be afraid to touch that fucking car. You scratch that, my whole life is done. Uh, scratching that probably costs like 15 apartments in my town in Bulgaria. I gotta be honest, you. Fuck me. I like how that dude is shaking. <laughs> the other guy gives zero fucks. <laughs> All of our decorations have been stolen off this wall. If you're responsible, please return them. That would be really nice. Damn, bro. A flight from LAXOD was rerouted to Albuquerque for an emergency landing. This dude in the video was blacked out and threatening passengers in the back and had to be restrained for a while. Wait, how is he blacked out and threatening passengers at the same time? You're a bitch, bro. Oh. Get off my ass, bro. My shoulders are gonna fucking 
Oh, he's on some good shit. <laughs> Did you just hit that man? Did you just hit? Did you just assault that man? Did you? Oh, he spit on that man. I'm pretty sure that's a aggravated assault actually. Like spitting on somebody is actually a very serious offense. Hope he gets. He's probably gonna get charged with all that shit. Yep, we are fucked. FBI came on FBI, ooh. Jack fifth of Jack, weed, pipe, and some other drug thing. Back to the sky. Damn. Damn. And the last one for today is a simple one. Just somebody spray painting on a speed limit sign, oh, changing it from 30 miles per hour to 80 miles per hour in a neighborhood. Yeah, it's all fun and games to change signs until somebody else's car goes through somebody. Ah, it doesn't work like that. Listen. Uh, th there are speed limits in towns you're supposed to follow even if there is not a sign. That's the rule book. You can't go to 80 in a town. That shit's not allowed. I don't know. I mean, it's not allowed here in Bulgaria. I, I assume it's the same in America. Like, in towns, you can only go to a certain speed. Even The speed limits is so you don't go past a certain, like, a little section. That's not, I mean, come Somebody on. Somebody else's living room because they thought it said 80 miles per hour. Nah, bro. What's up, everybody? It's your oh, boy, Alaris. Hey, all good. right, all right. That was that one. That was, oh my god, that was, a, that, that was a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Jesus Christ. Fuck me, that was very bad. That's a lot of piece of shit. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments. My god, I'm, I'm actually kind of horrified of the human race. I uh, usually want to watch Cursed Comment and it's all good and fun, but this is actually real shit, bro. It's like actual fucking... The, piece of shit degenerates out in the world my god <sighs> anyway if you want to see more reddit r slash videos check out the playlist right here quick thank you to the youtube members of patreons thank you all for the support and i'll catch you all next time bye everybody